the last two weeks of my life, I legitimately think I've had the best sleep ever. I've just been so locked in. It's pretty incredible. And what I've realized in these last two weeks is the idea that we try so hard to get faster in any way possible. Like, I legitimately bought, <laughs> I legitimately bought a thing called PR lotion. It's literally PR lotion. That's what it's called in efforts to become faster. And what I'm realizing is that it's not about the little, the little gimmicks. It's really what training and being fast comes down to is not about the gear, it's not about the shoes, it's about the discipline and the routine that you can build into your own life. So today, if you want to take anything from this video, I'll give my best advice up front. The best way for you to drop time in your training, if you're already training consistently and training well, is literally to get locked in on your sleep through a good nighttime and morning routine. A routine is the key there. So much of sleep quality is just going to bed at the same time every day and waking up at the same time every day, which is doesn't sound that difficult, but once you start talking about going to bed at the same, same time every day, that is when it gets hard. It's been at least five years that I've had the same, uh, same bedtime in bed at the same time every night. And let me tell you, once you get rolling on it, once you go to sleep, say 9.30 and wake up at 7, you get so incredibly locked in that you can wake up at the same time without even having an alarm. And it is the best feeling in the world. So I'm going to share a couple things that have really helped me lock in my sleep in the last couple weeks. The first one is avoiding light at night. This is important because if you think about it, our bodies are built to be outside all the time and to base the time of day off the sun's position. And so once we start living inside, where the lights are all the same brightness all the time, when it's night, it still feels like day. So this kind of messes up your body's natural rhythm. So what you really need to focus on is starting to avoid light at night. Especially when you're about to go to bed, you really need to have it get dark because this signals to your body that it is now nighttime and it is now time to go to sleep. So when you're like going through and brushing your teeth, you need to have like all the lights off in the house, like as dark as you can get it because this is going to signal to your body by the lack of light that you're about to sleep, you're about to go to bed. This really helps your body as it now is able to know what time of day it is as opposed to uh, just constantly thinking it's day and then going right, trying to go right into sleep from that. Another part of this is, as Andrew Huberman describes in his podcast, you can help your sleep by actually watching the sunrise in the morning. By doing that, it gives your body more information of what time of day it is. You can do this, the same thing with the sunset. The sunset and the sunrise gives your body a lot of this information which will really help you uh, lock in your sleep because your body now knows when it is supposed to be awake and when it's supposed to be asleep. And so instead of fighting your body on this, you can kind of work with it in this way. Another thing is avoiding food before bed. If you're eating a lot of food or if you're eating low quality food, you're going to sleep worse. You have to understand a little bit about the digestive system here. The digestive system, when you have a lot of food in your stomach, your whole body diverts blood flow to your gut so it can digest this food. And so when you are trying to go to bed after just after eating a lot of food, you might feel sleepy, but your quality of sleep will actually be worse because of it, because your body is diverting so much resources into your stomach to get rid of all the food that you just put in it. So it's going to struggle to give you deep sleep and REM sleep. Your quality is going to be lower and your recovery is going to be worse as a result of it. 
And now let's move on to like the morning kind of stuff. Um, things that will help you feel more energized during the day so you can train better, even if you didn't have like impeccable sleep that last night. The first thing is really simple. Just get right out of bed. As soon as your alarm goes off, stand up. Because once you're kind of laying in bed and you're like trying to go back to sleep or you're staying awake a little bit in bed or you're on your phone, it is going to really make you tired. Literally, if you just get right up out of bed, you will have an infinitely more energy if you just stand up directly from that. It moves your morning along much better, and especially if you're trying to run in the morning, getting right up instead of waiting around in bed will give you a lot more energy. And finally, another tip is to use music to improve your sleep. So this is adding on to the routine aspect of things. If you start listening to, this might be a little bit of bro science, but it is something that has kind of worked for me. If you start listening to the same song in the morning and the same song in the evening, right after you wake up and right before you go to bed, your body starts to associate these things with waking up and falling asleep. So I have one song that I listen to during my morning routine every single day. And this just helps me lock in. I kind of get in flow state and I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm doing my stuff. And I have one song that I listen to at night every single day. And this just kind of like slows me down, prepares me for sleep. And it lets my body know. It's another signal that just tells my body, you're going to sleep soon. So this, these two songs kind of give me bookmarks, bookends for my day. Like start song, end song, intro and outro for my day. And it just gives your body more information of what time of day it is and when you're going to bed. Another thing is just use your watch. Most Garmin watches have a sleep feature. And if you start looking at your sleep a lot more, wake up in the morning, check your sleep directly after waking up and you get an instant result of what you did last night and the day before. This kind of helps you understand how your actions affect your sleep and it'll help you tweak your life to get better, higher quality sleep. Sleep is one of the biggest things, so don't neglect it. Don't settle, bro. See ya.